It's a holiday tradition for many, building a gingerbread house covered in candy. But one Northern Michigan resort has cranked it up a notch and built a life-size gingerbread house. Seven fours, Alyssa Heron joins us live from the Great Wolf Lodge just outside Traverse City. Good morning, Alyssa. And all right, how much of that candy have you eaten so far? Good morning, Brendan and Melissa. You know, I've already taken a few bites, but we won't tell anybody that. Right now, I'm joined with General Manager Chris Ballou. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, you know, first of all, there's a lot of candy behind me um, on this gingerbread house. Tell me, what is this project? Well, this is our gingerbread house. It started our property in Niagara Falls, and it just caught on. So now all of our Great Wolf Lodges throughout the U.S. put on these life-size gingerbread houses. Very cool. Now, everything on this house is actually edible, correct? Correct. We used 600 pounds of gingerbread, over a ton of sugar, 450 eggs to make the icing. We used over 1,000 peeps and Mike and Ikes, as well as over 100 donuts from our Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> wow. And now, this wasn't just brought into the lobby and placed here. Your staff actually worked on this gingerbread house. Tell me about what went into creating this. Yes, it was our uh, culinary staff. They started in the beginning of November. It took about a month. We did in the back of the house, baked all of the gingerbread, mixed all of the icing. Then it was a joint effort between our culinary staff and our maintenance teams actually assembling and putting it all together. Very cool. Now, let's take a walk inside because what a lot of people might not know is people and guests can actually come here and eat inside. Is that correct? That's correct. We uh, do three meal periods a day. Um, you can make reservations at, uh, by uh, calling our lodge directly. And uh, as you can see, we already have one guest here <laughs> that's uh, getting ready to eat. This is Wiley the Wolf. All right, so Wiley the Wolf looks like he's, uh, you know, a full-time guest here, but people who aren't staying here, they can also call and make reservations, right? Correct. Uh, you don't have to be a guest to eat in the gingerbread house. You just have to make a reservation. Uh, the reservation uh, is a uh, donation to the Ronald McDonald House, which is a local charity here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay, very great. And, you know, there's also several other things that are going into the um, winter wonderland here. Tell me about that. Oh, yes, it is part of our whole Snowland uh, theme for, that goes until January 4th. Uh, it includes uh, Snowland shows in the lobby, which includes our Clock Tower Storytime show. We actually do have Christmas carols, and it actually does snow in the lobby. We have a uh, letter writing depot for uh, letters to Santa, as well as our North Pole University and some other events. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And you as well, um, enjoy your meal here in the Gingerbread House. Don't eat all the candy. Um, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Traverse City, Alyssa Heron, 74 News. also has a special guest with her. Plus, I think some children's dreams coming true this morning, maybe even some adults, because <laughs> after the break, 74 Alyssa Heron is taking us live inside of a life-size gingerbread house at the Great Wolf Lodge in Traverse City. Stay with us. You're watching 7 and 4 News today. 7 and 4 is Alyssa Heron joins us live at the Great Wolf Lodge just outside of Traverse City. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. I am in the middle of the Great Wolf Lodge lobby here in Traverse City, Michigan. And this time it is actually snowing down on us. Joining me is General Manager Chris Ballou. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, absolutely. Um, now, this is all part of your Snowland, correct? Correct. All month it uh, goes from uh, the beginning of December until January 4th, and it smells in the lobby three times a day. Very cool. Now, we're going to take a walk because I want to show everybody um, one of the most popular things here um, for Snowland this year, and it is a life-size gingerbread house. Tell me um, about how this got started. Well, it started with our Great Wolf Lodge in Niagara Falls. They uh, built a life-size gingerbread house, and it really took on, so... Uh, now all of our Great Wolf properties throughout the U.S. all create a life-size gingerbread house every year for our snowland. Okay, now there's a lot of detail inside this. As we can see, there's tons and tons of candy, but um, how much candy is really on this house? Well, we used about 600 pounds of gingerbread, about a ton of sugar, uh, over a 1,000 Mike and Ikes and Peeps, a couple hundred donuts, 450 eggs, etc. Okay, and your staff all worked on this? Yes, our uh, culinary staff uh, mixed all of the eggs and uh, sugar into the into the icing. They baked all of the gingerbread house, gingerbread for the gingerbread house in the back of our uh, kitchen, 
And then uh, they worked with our maintenance team to uh, resurrect it and put it all together. Very cool. Now, we can actually take a walk inside because um, this is also a place where guests can come and dine. Is that right? Correct. We do three meal periods a day for the entire duration of Snowland. You can actually eat and right inside the gingerbread house, order off of our menu. Wonderful. And do people have to be staying at the Great Wolf Lodge to come and eat inside the gingerbread house? No, you do not have to be a guest, but we do ask that you make reservations, which you can do just by calling our main number at the lodge. Okay. And all of this is for a very good cause. Tell me about that. Correct. It is a donation to the Ronald McDonald House. All the proceeds go to the Ronald McDonald House in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Very cool. Uh, you know, how has the reaction been when kids are coming around to see this? It has been incredible. The guests love it. Uh, the kids, uh, they try and take uh, little pieces here and there, try and sneak little pieces here, try and lick the walls. I wouldn't recommend that. But <laughs> so you don't think that you're going to try this at the end, do you? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so I'll much for joining us. for you, though. All right, I'll be looking forward to that. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, all of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Trevor City, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News.